find myself watching both of them and being and like i'm not not happy but i'm also just like why am i d- what is wrong with me <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. like, <laughs> uh, i have some questions about myself as a person yeah yeah it's a you know it's a thing it's a thing that i go through often <laughs> Welcome to Basement Communion with your hosts, uh, Reverend Terry and Grindhouse Seller. Today, Grindhouse Seller has a cold, um, so we weren't going to record, but he does have something he wants to talk about, so he's going to weather his sickness to tell us about. I've got a tall glass of medicinal bourbon. We'll get through this. Yeah, see, like our ancestors did. Exactly. I was uh, sick today, scrolling along on the Instagram as you do when you're sick. So I was scrolling through, and all of a sudden... I see this platinum blonde holding a pink gun. Looks like a Walter PPK or some James Bond shit. And I'm like, what is this? And it's a screen cap from an Indiegogo. And I take a second look, and the platinum blonde is Aaron Brown. And I'm like, wait a minute. Because we're Thrust is a post-apocalyptic girl gang thriller about two best friends. Aloe and Vera. It's uh, posted by uh, an actress I follow, Sadie Tate, and she posts, and underneath it, the caption is, Hi, I'm going to be in a movie with Linnea Quigley and Misty Monday. Boom, head explosion emoji. I was like, what is this? On a journey to kill the last scumbag alive, Dirtbag Mike. Okay, so just from that, uh, that cast you gave, it's pretty, sounds pretty amazing. Two of the most wonderful, badass actresses, Erin Brown and Allison Egan. The film also stars Monique Dupree, Linnea Quigley, Ellie Church, Ronnie Jonah, Sadie Tate, Brandy Noir, Dixie Gers, Tulsi McDaniels, Scarlet Storm, Callie Rowan Richards, Felicia Fisher, the Midnight Creeps are also going to make an appearance in the film. Mike Shoshanovich, Brian Papandrea, Cody Lee Harden, independent wrestler, what the fuck? and many more. It's a fucking great cast there. Uh, you want to take a look at the trailer real quick? Yeah. I, I don't believe it's a trailer. I believe it's a pitch. And all the glorious, wonderful gangs of the future. Dr. Dominator and the Hypochondriacs. The Toe Jammers, the Ring Rats, the Hipster Sisters. The future is fucked. I like that he already has like a shit ton of gangs in mind. It reminds me of some of my favorite low budget uh, post apocalyptic movies. Is that you can Hell see? yeah. He's, he's got some great names going for some of these gangs. Yeah, you can tell like, like. It's all plotted out. Like old uh, post apocalyptic B movies, you could almost tell that they started with the gangs. And work their way backwards <laughs> like that's the way to do it after warriors came out like i was just gonna say warriors <laughs> warriors came out and everyone was like yeah that's how we do it we start with our gangs which is what you do when you're like you're a little kid it's pretty awesome yep. work backwards yeah oh, that's great uh yeah but- so I, I was very excited about that I just you know the cast alone and then the pitch i was like this is kind of exciting yeah uh, looks really good and so, uh, sounds awesome. When I clicked on the link, uh, you know, no one had jumped in yet. So I was like, uh, as we've talked before, sometimes it's difficult. One of the perks is the Blu-ray of the movie. So I grabbed that. Fuck yeah. And <laughs> the last time I looked, it already had like 800 bucks um, thrown at it. So, I mean, people need to get in on this. The perks are all really cool. But so like... I, threw, I, I ended up grabbing a few perks on this one because... It's it's kind of cool because uh, he mentioned his uh, previous film Triangles that piqued my interest so I grabbed that too. Um, just was surprised to see this scrolling today and I was like, yeah, my head would explode too. It's a pretty solid cast. Yeah, no, it sounds awesome. Um, yeah, I'd probably pick up this DVD and then the Blu-ray, this DVD with the short and experimental films. No, it looks great. I have the tape just because uh, apparently it has more behind the scenes of both I like thrown this. on that the dvd doesn't have but it's yeah one. props you can get you can get it's one of my favorite costumes. things about a uh 
what do you call it? Indiegogo is there's always like some dude's head, um, <laughs> or like a hand, or or even sometimes crazier. The fact that he pitched all practical, I'm all about that. So what and else it, has he? Comic too, which is interesting. I'm not familiar with the director, uh, besides him saying triangle. Okay. Um, but we are getting special effects by the Marcus Koch. Coach. God damn it. I'm sure there's another way to say that. Um, but the guy who gave us uh, a bunch of American guinea pig movies. And then... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, we're talking solid practical effects there. Uh, we reviewed one of his movies on Video Religion. Uh, what the fuck is it? It's a uh, Rot. Yeah, Rot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the, the effects are going to be awesome as fuck like yeah. I, I actually with, with him attached it's gonna be to the next level you know he's one of those people that sometimes people say they don't really like his films but you can't get over the effects in the films also look at this goofball he looks like a fun guy he looks like a great diet guy mm. i can't talk i'm blaming the medicinal bourbon but uh i'd <laughs> hang with him uh also um just all those actors awesome but I do love me some R.A. the Rug Man. Not only his music, but uh, his one movie, <laughs> uh, Bad Biology, that he made with uh, Her Lauder. So, uh, I I I pronounce it Hen and Lauder. I don't I don't know. I don't. Yeah, you're you're probably right there. I don't know. So I remember um, the way I found out about that movie was when I used to get the Something Weird Video supplemental catalogs. So we're going way back. They had a full page for Bad Biology on that. Um, you know, that I was one, like, what is this? That's another one that gets a lot of hate. Um, but I actually kind of enjoy this one. But I do understand why people don't like it that much. Mm -hmm. um, the pacing's hella weird. Yeah. And then the motivation yeah. seems like it goes back and forth. Um, but it's pretty cool. Uh, it I dig it. Um, and, uh, it you know, it is... You know, despite it being R.A. the Rugged Man writing it or, and producing it, um, it's very much like back to the uh, confusing Herlotter universe. Herlot, which, which, which way did you say it? Sorry. I said Herlotter. To tell us just how the basket case legend got started is a hero of mine, Mr. Frank Henenlotter, who wrote Basket Case. Uh, says that we have Jesse, and there's another name I'm not going to be able to say, Jesse Seats. Uh, mm -hmm. and Marcus Koch, and all the effects will be practical and no fix it in post or digital blood. That's yeah, that, and that to me is like a yes. Yeah, I can definitely get behind no digital blood. Like I was uh, already behind the cast, and then you start throwing this on top, and I immediately clicked on the link and started like, all right, what what can I fucking buy on this to give them some money? Yeah, no, that's, and there's a lot of cool perks. It's a good catch. Um, I'll definitely. I kind of you know the poster too i might have to get that <laughs> <laughs> um i know it seems pretty it looks awesome. like she's got a little more ink since i last saw aaron i'm glad she's gonna be in another film what has aaron mm -hmm. brown been up to like i feel like it was a bunch of bill bills of bill busy bob movies yeah. and then it was nothing nothing well apparently uh, she did triangle prior to this um that the pitch showed yeah, she was in, so I grabbed that because I'm gonna see that. Oh, I forgot her about her later films with uh, Sean Weathers. So oh, yeah, I haven't seen those. Oh man, uh, it's pretty much just a Sean Weathers film. I want to make this fucking movie right now, and I'm confident that I have the best cast and the best crew, and I'm gonna make the best fucking underground girl gang, futuristic, post-apocalyptic gang film where all men are slaves and women rule and the future is female. Alright, I have something I want to talk about real quick. Yeah, jump Be on. Before we stop recording. Um, IMBD, what the fuck is you doing? Like yeah, like they suck now. Hey, Reverend Terry here. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you could 
be a homie and go ahead and uh, hit like and subscribe and maybe that little bell thing uh, that would be cool um, you could also leave a weird thing in the comment section maybe maybe recommend something that we could cover I think that somebody told me that appeases the YouTube gods in some way but anyway <laughs>